Hello friends and happy December. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how I made this French Bulldog puppy sitting in a stocking. This video is a collaboration with Talia over at Talia's Cakes. I'm going to have her video linked down below so be sure to check that out. So as per usual I have a template that I will link down below and I'm going to be cutting this stocking shape out of some vanilla cake. I cut that into two layers and then I'm just sandwiching some vanilla Swiss meringue buttercream in between. I'm rounding out the sides and the bottom of the stocking but I'm not going to touch the top, I just want that to stay nice and level. When I was happy with the shape, I added a thin layer of that buttercream just to lock in any crumbs and then I put that in the fridge for about 25 minutes to chill. When it was good to go, I added another thick layer all around my cake and then I used a piece of cardstock to help me get the icing as smooth as possible. I rolled out some red fondant that I added a little bit of black to just to deepen the color and I'm draping that over my cake and just smoothing it down with my hands. I trimmed away the excess and then used some of that excess to help me really smooth and buff over the fondant. I thought it would be cute to add some patches so with this dark green color I'm draping that over the very toe of the stocking as well as the heel. I cut out a rectangle with that same green fondant and I'm just folding that in on itself and then draping that over the top of my stocking. This just gives it more of like a fabric-y look versus flat against that red fondant. I made myself a little template for the paw print and I'm going to be cutting that out of some white fondant and while I have my white fondant rolled out, I'm also going to cut out a bunch of little snowflakes with my plunger cutter. I attached everything to my stocking just using a little bit of shortening and for the paw print I wanted to have a little more texture so I took my fondant tool and just stippled over the whole thing. I was really digging the way these stitches looked, so I just attached them with a little bit of water and then using really fine pieces of brown fondant, I'm just crisscrossing them over each other. To start on my Frenchie, I just pieced together a couple pieces of cake and then I'm cutting that out with my template the exact same way I did my stocking. I used my template to mark out where some of the features were going to go and then with my little knife here I'm going to start carving out a space for the eyes and also just rounding out the head and the ears. I trimmed the ears so that the very tops tapered down towards the board and then just took out a little deeper of a notch on either side as well. I gave it its own little crumb coat and then once it had sat in the fridge and I applied another layer of buttercream, once I had done my best smoothing it down with my spatula, I just threw on a pair of gloves and went over it that way. I let my buttercream sit in the fridge so it was a little bit chilled so it wasn't just smushing all over the place and this just allowed me to get into all the nooks and crannies and really add some definition. I'm using fondant today just because I always use modeling chocolate so I thought I would just switch it up and I rolled out these snakies to give me a head start on creating some of the bulk around the eyes. I smoothed down the edges as best I could and then draped some white fondant over the whole thing just working quickly to press it into the eye sockets and just around all of the features. Once I had it relatively smoothed down, I used my balling tool and my soft clay tools just to help me define some of the features around the eye and the ear. I added a little ball of white into the eye socket and made sure I tucked it right underneath where that brow bone is. 
I use circles of brown and black. Again, just making sure they're tucked up. We're really going for that puppy dog sad eye look. And then I added a little snaky of black underneath and a little catch light as well. I'm using light pink with a little bit of ivory for the ear and I just laid down one big piece and then trimmed it with my X-Acto knife so I knew exactly where to cut. Next, I needed to bulk out the muzzle slash snout area. So I'm laying down this sausage shape of white fondant and then using my tools just to define the lip and then cut out where the nose is going to be. I'm adding a little piece on top of his nose for like a roll. You can add as many rolls as you want. Frenchies are super squishy and wrinkly. I just didn't want to overdo it with this one. And then I also added that bottom lip. I popped on some whisker holes on either side, whatever you would call these. And then I let my cake chill in the fridge for about 10 minutes just so I could handle it. And then I picked it up off the board I was working on and gently placed it on the board right on top of my stocking. The paws were really simple. I just flattened this sausage shape against my work surface and marked in the toe lines. I added that to my cake and mine just stuck nicely to my fondant this way but if you find that it's not super secure you can just push in a little piece of dried spaghetti. I made room for each little claw and then rolled out these tiny white teardrop shapes and just popped those into place. I wanted to keep him fairly white but I did go around with some black airbrush food coloring and just darkened all of the little nooks and crannies around his mouth, his ears, just really faintly, you don't want to go crazy. The only area I kind of kept it a little bit more dark was around his mouth, right underneath his nose. So this was his face all shaded. You can see I really darkened up those claws especially. And then I'm going back in with some gray food coloring and my little brush here and just highlighting that brown to really make the eyes like super sad and puppyish. And this was a final result guys. I really hope you like him. Let me know down below if you wanna see me do more dog cakes. Don't forget to check out Talia's video. I've linked that down below and I will see you in the next one.